joining the global search for a vaccine, the start of South Africa's trial. Making history, eight participants are being prepared. 24-year-old Junior Mshongo, the first, his motivation to be part of something that could possibly change the world. I decided to participate because like in our areas people talk that uh, this uh, coronavirus is not there but then we see people dying in news everyday life and so I, I decided to come and join this trial. I'm not scared because like I, I want to know whether this vaccine will it able to work but I'm willing it that it uh, can it work for this COVID. I'm hoping that this vaccine is going to work. The incentive, a bonus Mshongo says, not a primary reason for his participation. He reveals he was paid 100 rand during the screening period, 300 rand on a second visit, and he will receive another 300 rand per visit or checkup. Mshongo tells us he heard about the trials at the hospital where his child is participating in another study. Experts say as South Africa remains on lockdown, many do not adhere to health protocols, leading to a rapid transmission of the virus. And hospitals are already overwhelmed. These eight participants form part of what is known as Group 1 which is a group where we, it's a small group of 50 individuals where we're trying to understand two important issues. The first issue is the safety of the vaccine, especially in terms of what would be common side effects. And the second issue is how well their body mounts an immune response against the vaccine. So for all of these participants, the 2,000, they will be randomly allocated to one of two groups. Half of them will receive the vaccine. The other half will receive what we call a placebo. We don't know which a group they've been assigned to, the participants don't know which group they've been assigned to. It's only the pharmacist and the person that's administering the vaccine that will know. Uh, so what we then do beyond that is we then follow up these participants. Every two weeks we would basically give them a call to find out if they've got any signs or symptoms suggestive of COVID-19. If they do, then we will ask them to come back and we'll take a swap to test whether it is from the virus or not. In between that two-week period, if they at any stage they develop any sort of symptoms, it's exactly the same procedure. We ask them to come to our clinic to be investigated, and that will continue. So once we've got 42 participants, we'll be able to tell whether this particular vaccine is able to reduce the risk of a person developing COVID-19 by at least 60%. It might be higher, but we've designed a study to be able to show at least 60% protection in the participants. But it's a long road. So these are part of the 2,000 participants who will be enrolled for the vaccine trial over the next five to six weeks. They'll be monitored over a period of a year, but an analysis of the efficacy of the vaccine can be done as soon as there are 42 cases of the coronavirus among the 2,000 participants. And experts say due to South Africa's infection rate, that is likely to be in November. Crystal Lewis, SABC News in Soweto.